Hey guys, my name is Doug with infotainment.com. Today we're in the 2014 and up um, Jeep Grand Cherokee. This upgrade is real exciting. We've been working on it for a while here. Basically what we're doing is we're upgrading to the new infotainment system that came out in the 2018 Grand Cherokees, which has the Android Auto and Apple CarPlay capability, uh, specifically the UAQ infotainment system. So on this particular model, we're in a 2016 Grand Cherokee at the moment. This one already has the eight inch screen. Um, so what we're gonna do today is demonstrate how to upgrade to the CarPlay uh, Android Auto unit. So um, to do so is really easy. Basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace the USB hub that's back here and then replace the infotainment system itself. Um, so the first thing we're going to do to get started is we're going to get our 7mm socket and a dash pry tool or a regular screwdriver. And we're going to remove this cubby here to go ahead and replace the infotainment system or the um, rather the uh, USB hub. So the first thing we're going to do is lift up on the armrest. And this particular bezel here that goes around your gear shifter is just held in with retaining clips. So all we're going to do is just pop this up out of place and then kind of twist it a little bit. And what that's going to do is it's going to give us access to two 7mm screws here. And then what we're going to do um, at this point is we can go ahead and shut the vehicle off. We're gonna lift up on this bezel here that goes around the infotainment screen. It's just held in with retaining clips. You can use your pry tool or you can just kind of muscle it out. But in any case, that just pops out. We're gonna go ahead and disconnect this little connector here. Set that aside. And then by doing so, it's gonna give you access to two more seven millimeter screws, which are up here. Connect the little connector there. And then what you're going to do is you're going to remove this little cubby here. Now, sometimes you can weasel it out. What I like to do is just put the vehicle in neutral. You know, go ahead and push your emergency brake just in case. That gives you enough room to kind of remove it here. And then in the back, you notice a couple connectors. So, what we'll do. Went ahead and put the vehicle back in park. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and disconnect these connectors here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to replace this hub here. There's four screws that hold it in and we're just going to go ahead and replace this. Stick the new one in here and then we can reinstall it. Just remove the four T15 screws. And then install the new hub. Now that we've replaced the hub down here, we can go ahead and screw this back into place. The same four screws just go right back in. Be sure to plug in this connector. And all we do is we pop this back into place. Now what we can do is remove this infotainment system here. Now some of you are going to have the smaller um, RA2 they call it, the 5 inch screen. Um, with that you will need to replace the bezel so check out our website. Be sure to add that to your cart. Um, another great thing about this upgrade is if you do have the nice big 8 inch screen we will buy these back from you uh, depending on our inventory levels. That way you're not just gonna you know throw this in the trash or just have it sitting around your garage. We actually will buy these back which should help out with the cost. 
But in any case, there's four seven millimeter screws that hold it into place. Then all we're gonna do is just disconnect it. Then with this connector here, you push this tab up and then it slides out of place. So we can set this aside. And now we can install the new infotainment system here. Using all the same connectors. These all will come pre-programmed to plug and play from our warehouse. So you don't need to worry about going to the dealer or fooling around with programming. Everything will be programmed prior to arriving. Now all the connectors are plugged in, we'll go ahead and reinstall the four screws. All right, now that our four screws are in, we can go ahead and replace the same bezel that we had initially by plugging in the plug. And this is just held in with retaining clips. So remember, you don't have to do anything fancy. You just kind of line it up and snap it into place. Now everything's installed, so what we can do is turn on the vehicle. So here we go. So one thing I want to mention right off the bat, um, if your SXM or your Sirius XM icon doesn't show up on the first start, what you have to do is shut the vehicle off, let it sleep for about five minutes, come back in the vehicle, turn it on. If it doesn't show, you got to repeat that cycle. Basically what the radio is doing at this point is it's learning and it's getting the data from the VCM, the vehicle's computer, to make sure that everything's going to uh, function properly. So as I mentioned, sometimes it works right off the bat, sometimes you got to sleep the vehicle one or two times for a few minutes in between, um, and then that SXM icon comes up and you're ready to go. You know your steering wheel controls are going to work, you'll notice your backup camera continues to work, um, so that's important. I just wanted to point that out. But in any case, you notice right off the bat you get the nice um, display here. Um, similar to the other radio, uh, you have AM, FM, uh, this comes with HD radio, which is a pretty cool feature, the UAQ system here. Um, media, as you know, um, goes through the ports in here. You have your climate, your apps feature, uh, where you can choose between Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. If you have heated and cooled seats or a heated wheel, those will be available within that. This is also, you can slide it, you know, unlike the other radio, um, this is like a pinch to zoom, which is pretty cool. Um, a responsive touchscreen, which the other one did not have. Um, controls, as I mentioned, you have your heat and cooled seats. The navigation in this is just a real slick system. Um, you notice in pinpointing our location immediately, it does have the pinch to zoom feature. Um, just a really slick system here, this, this navigation, the embedded navigation in this system here. Uh, 3D landmarks, you name it, it's just got the, the best system. Um, and then obviously your phone here, you can add contacts, uh, so on and so forth. Um, but one of the big things about this particular radio, and the reason why a lot of people do the upgrade, is they want to be able to utilize Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So I'll go ahead and plug in our Samsung first. You'll notice it's coming up with it here. And here's Android Auto. Um, you have your navigation through Google Maps on this little button here. So you have Google Maps on screen, which is awesome. Um, really cool because you know the the directions will come out of the speakers uh, so you hit navigate to proceed um, you have your phone feature here with the phone this is your home key um, if you have music on your phone Pandora Google Play um, Spotify so on and so forth those can be within the music section and then this will bring you back to you connect so just a really cool Android Auto upgrade Press the phone button, you get right back into it. Uh, so next I'll demonstrate uh, Apple CarPlay. All right, now I'll demonstrate Apple CarPlay. So you plug in your USB to the hub. Then you'll see CarPlay comes up. So just really awesome upgrade, the Apple CarPlay. Um, this is gonna be your home key to kind of get you back to the main screen. 
But you notice, uh, similar to the um, Android Auto, you have your phone, your uh, Apple Music, your Maps, those of you who want to utilize the, the Maps here. Um, again, just like before, it'll actually guide you, speak to you through the speakers, which is really cool. Um, your voice, or your uh, rather your text messaging, um, podcasts, audiobooks, Spotify, those of you who have it, uh, Pandora, so on and so forth. That's all through the Apple CarPlay. So just really awesome for those of you who have the Apple phones. So in any case, um, a few things before we end the video here, I wanted to talk to you guys about a few things. Um, number one, this is a, an upgrade that you can do from 2014 and up. However, the 2014 and 2015 Grand Cherokees, those of you who have heated, cooled, or heated wheel, you may need an extra kit to install behind the radio. As of now, here in fall of 2017, it does require an extra kit. We are in a 2016 now. 2016 and 2017s are plug and play, um, all pre-programmed. Um, so again, if you have a 14 or 15 Grand Cherokee you, and you have heated, cooled, or heated steering wheel, you may need this extra kit which we sell on our website. So go to, that, go to the website for more details if you have a 14 or 15. 16 and 17 are fully 100% plug and play. If you have a 2018 and you have the seven inch screen, uh, you can upgrade to the uh, CarPlay Android Auto UAQ unit. You will need a replacement bezel, which we also carry on our website. Again, I also wanted to mention those of you who already have the eight inch screen, um, but the older manufacturer, um, the RA3 or RA4, we do buy those back, which should help your pocketbook. But come check us out at infotainment.com. This, this upgrade is going to be released here any day now uh, for retail and wholesale sales. Um, come check us out at infotainment.com. We do a whole lot of other cool stuff, front cameras, rear cameras, side cameras, uh, you name it. So come check us out at infotainment.com. Thanks for watching, guys.